All right, I want to show you this right here because this really frames it perfectly. Cold weather right here in Florida. Our Sky 10 this morning catching dozens of manatees snuggling in warmer waters at the Tico Manatee Viewing Center there. I was looking to see if you could see any sharks because sometimes you can see them kind of mixed them too, in. Huh? The surge of sea cows also brings in waves of visitors. Tonight, 10 Tampa Bay's Angelicia Bruton shares why the migration saves the lives of manatees. As the temperature drops, <gasps> Did you see that? families gather to watch the sea cows. I got that one. There's one right there. You see them, their backs? They're moving towards warmer waters. Oh, oh I saw his tail. Regina Chambliss says it's quite a sight to see. Just to see a huge thing come up and blow, and you're like, oh my God. Oh my God, there's a manatee. So it, it's amazing to see nature, you know, just come up and say hello. Volunteers say hundreds of manatees gather here. The water here is about 86 degrees. Today people are like, how come they're not coming up? I'm like, they don't want to come up in this cold wind. <laughs> they like staying in that warm water. The Florida Fish and Wildlife Conservation Commission says manatees suffer in waters below 68 degrees. So we'll go down here. Some who don't make it to warmer waters end up here at the Tampa Zoo. You can see all those white spots all along his side, all like those scarring and kind of those little pockets that are gone out of his tail. A lot of that is from tissue death. Zoo Tampa says right now at their critical care center, they have several manatees here that have chronic cold stress. They say as we enter into the colder months, they expect to have more cases. We have kind of our critical care pools. That's our first stop for manatee. We can raise one of those pools temps up to about 90 degrees if we need to for manatees that have cold stress syndrome where their body temperature is very low. While at the center, they receive supportive care. Through fluid therapy, a lot of times tubing them, whether it be electrolyte fluid or, or just water or even a smoothie. Until they're strong enough to go back in the wild. And sometimes that takes months. <laughs> Angelicia Bruton, 10 Tampa Bay. Well, FWC says so far this year there has been more than 500 manatee deaths in Florida with multiple cases linked to chronic cold stress out there.